up on the plaza, we have the CEO of Eastside Charter School, Aaron Bass, along with Maurice Raglan, segment director at Barclays. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for, for coming. Yeah, Absolutely. so excited to have you here on set of Good Morning Wilmington. Now, now before we get started, everyone, we have a, we, we forgot a special shout out um, that we had to we had to wish someone happy birthday, right, Aaron? Oh, yeah. so. Uh, Somebody's turning 40, <laughs> and I want to make sure that the newest addition to the <laughs> Eagles family, I got this for you, Logan. Happy birthday, brother. And this is the, the coming out party. Glad you signed the document and signed the Eagles contract. It is a binding contract, and we appreciate you joining the actual team that has a good season. My brother Maurice Ragland is also going to be there tonight <laughs> as the Eagles beat the Vikings Monday Night Football. Thank you for letting me Boy, make sure. There's a lot of shade yeah. going on here on the plaza. <laughs> Last but not least. No, no. We, we want to celebrate. You we know, people celebrate. make good decisions. That's like Rick Ross came on, he made good decisions okay. after. People can make good decisions with their football teams after life as well. So we appreciate you. It, 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 and that's the perfect segue about good decisions, right? Mm -hmm. The decisions of Barclays and Eastside Charter. Yes. Um, we, you guys are doing some great stuff down at Eastside. Last week I was there and for a ceremony that for, to celebrate the new um, the, um, STEM project that's going on. Can you talk a little bit about that? So yeah, we have a STEM hub that we are building in uh, on the Eastside property. It's run by our uh, First Community Foundation, which is the the foundation that owns our property in the, it's in partnership with the Wilmington Library, also mm. with Camores, with Barclays. The idea is that where do you access STEM? So Delaware's number one industry, medical fields, engineering, banking, you name it, it's STEM. Mm -hmm. And if you happen to grow up in, 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 in Riverside, you, you're on Southbridge, pick wherever you happen to be, mm -hmm. where do you access STEM? Right. And so now we have people like Barclays has been mentoring for 20 years at Eastside Charter School said, we're going to stand up and, and, and stand in the gap of where there's not resources. Kimora said, we're going to commit our funds and make sure that we're not only committing capital, but human capital to make sure that if you want to get an 80000 dollars $200,000 job, then you know how to do that. And there are people that to work with you. Um, on that. So, so we had Denny from Barclays there, uh, Maurice, who's also a board member at Eastside Charter School there. Um, and we have a lot of other supporters because we want to make sure that you have access to a great future. And it starts with the work we're doing here in Delaware. Amazing. Amazing. I, I was able to uh, look up on the website. I believe if you go to Eastside Charter's website, it shows some plans for what the school will look like. I believe I caught that and I was like, wow, I mean, magnificent, mm -hmm. little peak. And, and I know that the, uh, the enrollment right now is about over 400 students and you're bursting at the seams. So you need wow. the space, which is, which is important. It's important for our children, important for our kids to get a good education, but also have the proper resources. So this is so incredible what's, what's going to happen. Yeah. So, Mr. Mr. Wrangler, well, Maurice, <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit more about your involvement. Yeah, well, I mean, I think for me, um, you know, one, having the great opportunity to sit on the board of Eastside, I have a chance to witness firsthand mm -hmm. uh, the wonderful work that's happening at Eastside, uh, the opportunity of, of kids uh, to really have a, a tremendous education. Yes. Um, and, and for us at Barclays, you know, we've been in collaboration with Eastside for now 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and it really started us with us uh, developing a mentoring program where you know, we wanted to ensure that kids just had the opportunity to connect socially and emotionally, as well as helping them with the homework. Um, and so it's been a wonderful partnership for us uh, over the last 20 years. And really, this is just an extension of what we've been doing, you know, feet on the ground through the mentoring program, and really just making a tangible investment into the lives of not only the kids, but into the community, uh, which, which is really just a part of the DNA for Barclays. The key word here is investment, right? And, and we see that with what's going on to that whole corridor on, on, the, on the north side, from the, the, the affordable housing that um, um, the work group is putting together, mm -hmm. and now something with education. Where do you see this investment, or what else would it do for the kids, uh, for the community, for creating jobs, and creating a whole new pathway for kids um, mm -hmm. with education? Yeah, well, I'll let well, you go ahead I'll, and I'll jump in. I, I think, one, having access to those um, executives and, and employees that are mm -hmm. able to come in from these corporations. Mm -hmm. And so right. we can show you what we're doing. I think workforce development, just having access. The Wilmington Library, which uh, just won an award as the greatest library in America, 
is going to be running this, so it's not just for East Side families or community. Right. It's for the entire public to come in and have access to this. So there'll be job fairs, internships. Mm -hmm. There's uh, training in coding. There's mm -hmm. training in and all STEM. Uh, we have a NASA scientist that actually came on board and said, "I want to be a part of this because wow. this is something." that will be uh, revolutionary. Yes. And so the only thing we realize is that you need to get people an access point. So when uh, Barclays came to us, they started mentoring, not because they wanted to just do something nice, but right. one of the conversations was, we need to look at employees for the future. Right. And so when somebody's in second grade or eighth grade, we started this mentoring program, how do we extend this? So now when they're in high school, when they're in college, they can bring their friends and be able to access this. So for labor, we now have people with the most amount of promise. Hmm. now have access because we have not because it has been available and so now we provide that gap and so I, I look forward to uh, seeing 20 years from the day when our future board members our future DETV because we're talking about DETV being at the studio yeah. there's a TV studio being built at the STEM hub so we'd love to wow. have the next Ivans and Vincenzas come out of this uh, <laughs> partnership but I think it's a great way to show what you do it's amazing by right. the way, shout out to the entire work group. And so what's taking place with uh, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars being invested in the community, you're seeing an entire community come together mm -hmm. with community members, with leaders, yeah. with uh, corporations, and then with politicians and elected leaders say, we have to do better. And yeah. this is an example of how this is taking place. Right. This is so tremendous. Yeah. Really, it is. It's the perfect ecosystem. Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's the perfect ecosystem. When you mm -hmm. have, and, and I was sitting in the mayor's office about two weeks ago, and I love talking to the mayor, right? And, and what he said was something that was so profound. He said, you know, we need more kids that look like you to see you. Yes. And, that, and he wasn't just talking about me. He was talking about the Logan Herons. He was talking about the Aaron Bass. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the Sarans. He was talking about Marquitas. Mm -hmm. They need to see us, right? And then when you look at, when you look at, I, and I was over there, and all I saw, when I saw black faces, young black faces that, that had embedded in them, I now have a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's the power of the mentoring program, right? Because, you know, I happen to lead at Barclays. We have a black professional forum. And so, you know, being able to take, you know, black faces and allowing the kids to see mm -hmm. people who look like them right. achieving and being successful. And that's also part of the reason for, you know, with the STEM Hub that has us so excited. When you think about kind of where the jobs of the future are, it's in a lot of those science and technology fields and okay. ensuring that our kids are not getting left behind in those arenas and in mm -hmm. those spaces, mm -hmm. making right. a tangible investment to ensure mm -hmm. that they're up to speed and on par and even exceeding some of their peers in the spaces of science and technology is huge to ensure that they're prepared for the jobs of the future. And so that's why this is such an important partnership for us. And, and, when, and when you look at, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, <laughs> please. Because I'm excited, right? Because yes. I'm excited. Because when you look at the city of Wilmington, mm -hmm. right? We, we're gonna talk just about the city of Wilmington. Mm -hmm. The city of Wilmington and where they're going with their job market, there is no more uh, assembly lines for cars or anything like that, right? It's science and technology. Yeah. Like all the apartment buildings are, are coming up, are coming up for people that can work from home or, or hop off the train and get back on the train or whatever. Science and technology. Right. And it's so great that, that you, that Barclays Eastside Charter are making an investment in the youth to say 15, 20 years from now, mm -hmm. where are you going to be? Right. And you know, when I started, when I started um, teaching film at uh, Akumba, it's like, and that was eight years ago. So I'm seeing these kids in college now mm -hmm. run up to me and say, hey, Mr. Ivan, um, my major is um, broadcast. Can I come intern with you? And I'm like, wait a minute. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. am I getting old? You know, but it's just something to see that that ROI, that return of investment right. on that. So again, shout out to you. Salute to to what Barclays and yes. Eastside Charter and Work Group is doing. You can't. You have to say everybody, right? Right. So I'm freaking out. Right. Happy. No, and it's an opportunity to build the resume. Mm -hmm. And I think at starting at such a young age, I know that growing up in school. It was about building your resume, getting that hands-on experience, but now you're getting that hands-on experience right in the school, starting at a younger age, even better. Even better to build a stronger foundation, to build that confidence mm -hmm. yeah. in the other uh, workforce, because we all know the workforce is very intimidating once you become a young adult. But I, I love the opportunities that you will be providing. So let's talk more about the, um, well, actually, I want to, I want to take it back a little right, bit. I want to take it back a little bit because I, I feel it's an important question that does, I feel you will understand when I say, a lot of people may not know what STEM is. I was thinking that. Mm. I was thinking that. So for yeah. our viewers that may not know, because I know there are many that may not know, let's, let's break it down for them. What is STEM? 
So science, technology, engineering, and math is what mm -hmm. STEM is. And, and some have added the A, which is arts. And so while we still focus on STEM as that acronym, we, we're definitely infusing art in all that we do. And uh, it, it's been amazing that we've seen that when you give people opportunity, they, they rise to the occasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think back to our, uh, our honors program. So the Apex honors students who were here last week and got right. a chance to be a, do their impact lecture yes. here. We said we have students that have the most promise. Let's provide the opportunity for them. And so in the last three years, mm -hmm. those students have earned over $1 million in scholarships to the top private schools in the entire state in just three years. And that's in partnership with Tower Hill, with Sanford, and with Wilmington Friends School. Uh, fast forward, we said, well, we need to provide STEM opportunities, not just for Eastside, but right. for our parents and for the entire community. And then we had Barclays come on board, we had Camores come on board, we've had the state of Delaware come on board. We've, we've had a number of people, uh, foundations, and so Laffey McHugh, and we've had Longwood, the list goes on, and, and Welfare Foundation, because people are saying that they want to see the return. What is amazing is it's not about just the numbers. And so mm -hmm. it, those, those are impressive. And I, I appreciate you, you have to have funding to make these things happen. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. But you also need to have people believe in what you're doing and believe in that community. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't do that, then it's all for nothing. And so we're appreciative of Barclays for yeah. engaging in STEM. Yeah. Real quick, uh, you said available to the students and parents. Mm -hmm. With the entire community. Okay. So during the school day, uh, the STEM hub will be used by Eastside Charter School. So we're going to have our uh, Apex Honor students, we'll, they'll have access to that and we'll extend our middle school. On top of that, uh, evenings, weekends, all summer long, the Wilmington Library will be coming in and this has become their satellite. So oh. they'll be running programming out of this building. So oh, if you happen to be come on. Yeah. at Coomba, you happen to be come at on. Pick the government building, if you oh. happen to be down the street, because we don't want to do something just for our building. And, and part of this was, so Barclays, uh, just to give you some history, uh, has been involved with Eastside. They redid our back area. So they made a playground area and football fields. And the one thing that Barclays said was, you cannot use this for Eastside alone. So they invested six hundred thousand dollars, and that back area, there's there's no fences to keep anybody out. There's there's nothing there. It's used by the school during the school day, and then afternoons, weekends, you have football teams, uh, track teams, soccer teams. Everyone can use that, and it's beautiful. And so for the STEM hub, anybody in Delaware, anybody in Wilmington, you do not have to go to Eastside Charter okay. School to access. See, that's it. amazing. Community, yeah. community, community. That's amazing. That's mm -hmm. it, um, wow. gentlemen. I, I, I could sit here and talk to you <laughs> yes. for another three days this about is this. So because, tremendous. But we have to, we have to grade. You know, take a quick break. Camera right there. You got thirty seconds. Tell them, tell them about the project. What you got going on? So the STEM Hub is uh, taking place at Eastside Charter School. We're thankful for all of our partners that have jumped on board to make sure that we can make it successful. Again, running by the Wilmington Library as a satellite for them, but anybody can access STEM. If you are a corporate partner that wants to get involved, definitely reach out to us at Eastside Charter School. If you are a community member that wants to get involved in this new endeavor, definitely let us know. We plan on opening in 2024 and making it accessible by the entire uh, public. So thank you all to DETV and to Barclays for your support, as well as all of our supporters for making this thing happen. I'm super excited. Guys, thank you. again, congratulations and salute yes. to what you guys are going on. And thank you for doing what you're doing. I, I, I swear we need some Capeless Hero <laughs> trophies. Yes, you just know, a hand just, right just here. Just a hand out. There you go. Um, uh, thank you. Again, thanks and again. Been, I'd be remiss if I didn't celebrate you for what you're doing mm -hmm. to get the word out. Thank so thank you yes. for being a voice to the community. Thank Definitely. you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ive, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. <laughs> we just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, <laughs> 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.